On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how our Deer Camp sauna works. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And like I said earlier, we're going to talk about how our deer camp sauna works. Now, uh, those of you that have watched some of my other videos, you've probably seen the sauna in some of those other videos here and there. I've, I've had it in there here and there before. But I've gotten a few questions, you know, over the last two years, uh, kind of like, how do these saunas work? You know, a lot of people aren't really super familiar with them. So I thought I would at least show you how we use ours, how ours works. And here's our sauna building, okay. A little snow around it this time of the year. And when you first come in, you've got this small room initially. This is the uh, changing room, okay. So you can kind of step in here and not quite be into the heat of the actual sauna in here. And then you open this door up and you get into the main sauna room. All right. Yeah, basically what we got, we've just got kind of this sauna room, a couple benches, cement floor, and down underneath here, got the floor drain. Okay. Got the tank, got the wood stove. We added this, uh, liner of brick around the wood stove space is a little tight in here and of course that brick keeps the wooden walls from heating up too much got nice uh nice cedar walls on the inside here cedar is a good uh interior uh wall material for saunas because it's very water resistant holds up for holds up to water real well now the main premise of a sauna is to heat up hot water and also to kind of make steam to kind of turn this room into like a steam room okay and again like I say and also to heat up water so you can wash up with it all right now there's a lot of different ways you can do that our particular sauna we have this holding tank off to the side okay we fill that up with water and we've got these uh, lines coming in right into the stove itself and what we have here is pretty much you know the insides of any normal wood stove but those pipes actually come right into the stove uh, as you can see I kind of shoveled the ashes away and that water of course will be in the pipes we're gonna fill this holding tank up Got a little snow in there right now so it's at least above this higher uh, pipe right here okay and then what will happen when you're inside here and the and the wood stove is going it's going to heat the water up inside that pipe right and just through like natural convection it'll circulate so what will happen is the water inside here will start to heat up it'll rise it'll be replaced by this this water in this tube right here and this pipe right here will kind of replace it it'll heat up rise so you'll actually start to get natural convection and this water will be circulating as it heats up so then at some point all the water in this tank will be very hot and this particular stove like a lot of sauna stoves does have this uh, rim around the top where you can put these rocks on top and that just kind of grabs heat and then at some point when this is all nice and hot and we're in here washing up you can throw water on these rocks to produce steam it just gives a lot of uh, hot surface area for the water to hit and then rises steam 
uh, it just kind of makes for better steam having this uh, good little bank of rocks. And our particular stove, a lot of times we'll put a pot right on top of it too, and we'll also fill this with water. Like today we've got this one filled up with snow, because like I said earlier, we're at deer camp, we got to haul our water in, so water's kind of at a premium, you know, we don't have a lot of extra water, so put a little snow in there, we had a little snow in the holding tank, we did bring some water out, and we'll add the water we brought to that, and we'll heat it up. So. We're just going to light a uh, fire in here, just like any normal wood stove, okay? We're going to start off with some uh, crumpled up newspaper, put that in there, some kindling, all right? We've got some small pieces and a little bit bigger pieces, I'm going to kind of put that in there, a little bit bigger piece of wood. And then it's always nice to have a good split piece of wood. Something uh, to get that fire going where it doesn't have to work to get through the bark. Have some good exposed uh, wood there to, to go with this, this. The first big piece, it's good to have a nice split piece. Okay, so we're going to put that on top of that. And I do try to build the fire kind of to that side. So the good heat from the fire is actually going right on the uh, water pipes, you know. That'll get that, that uh, natural convection, that natural circulation going that much quicker to have the fire on this side of the, uh, the, the box. So, there we have it. We'll light that up. That should take off. So we got one bucket here. Want to make sure our drain is closed. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. There. A little snow floating around in there. And we want to go here. We want to open that up all the way. We've got like essentially a valve in there, and it's going to be up and down. That allows the most air to travel up through the stovepipe. If you turn it that way, that closes off the stovepipe. So that direction, that allows the most air to go up the stovepipe. Of course, you want that good draft. You want that hot air from the wood stove rising up through the stovepipe, bringing in air from down here and up, right? That's what keeps the smoke from just coming right out the cracks and seams into the, uh, the building that you're in. You want that good draft going up. So we want to open this up all the way because we want the most uh, oxygen, the most air we can get to the fire right now as it's starting up. There, and that also means opening this up all the way. So, then when we get a lot of nice hot water in this tank, okay, um, a lot of times if we have other water, cooler water, we might mix it because it might be too hot to actually, you know, apply directly to your skin. Or we'll temp, like today, we'll probably temper it maybe with a little bit of snow. Um, you know, if we, if we uh, scoop ourselves out a bucket of water to wash with and it's just scalding hot, obviously, we don't, that's not what we want. So we might temper it with some snow, throw a little snow in there, get it down to a reasonable temperature and wash up with it. And we also got this handy dandy cover for our holding tank just helps to keep a little bit of the heat in you know once it starts circulating warming that water up so for now we're just going to uh, periodically come back check on the wood stove and uh, you know it might be an hour or so but we're gonna have some good hot water here yeah let's see what we got in here oh yeah it's starting to go we'll add a little wood to it Okay, so fire is very hot now. You might be able to hear the water in there is kind of gurgling. I'll come over to here. You can see the steam coming off it. And it is very hot right now. I don't even want to touch it because that water is too hot. So what we're going to do, we're going to 
we'll take a little cold water. This is a good handle for a pot, a nice wooden handle. Metal handles can get a little too hot in the sauna sometimes. Anyways, we're going to take some of this extremely hot water and mix it together with the cold. That's just about right right there. That's the water I'm going to use to wash up. Alright, like we said earlier, uh, the rocks give you a lot of good hot surface area for pouring water on, so we'll do that. Get things steamed up a little bit here. Gets things steamed up quick. So we got our nice uh, warm water mixed up and we're just going to kind of dump it all over us and wash up. Hey, my eyes are up here. Alright guys, well that's how our sauna works here out at the deer camp. You know, it's a really good uh, off-grid source of hot water to wash up with. Works out really good. And hey guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.